storage on the local server using Arduino. And for this, we require the library file that is ESP8266 file. Let us discuss how to install this ESP8266 file for Arduino. This is our program, and we need to include the ESP8266 library file. To install this library, you have to go to the GitHub URL. This is official ESP8266 Arduino of GitHub and all the steps of installation is given in this page. So you have to copy this URL to Arduino IDE. Now go to the Arduino, then File and Preferences. Copy that URL in this additional board manager section and click on OK. Go to tools, boards and board manager. In this window, the library will appear after few seconds. Type ESP8266 More info We have already installed this version Once the installation is completed, close the Arduino We have included this library file for Arduino. Put your Wi-Fi router SSID and Wi-Fi router password that you want to connect. And 80 is the port number of web server. This is our by default port rate. You can also set it as 9600 port rate. And serial .print ln and serial .print function prints message on serial monitor. Wi-Fi.begins, this function gives your SSID and password, which is mentioned in our variable. Like this. In the while loop, we check if any network is available or not. If no network is available, it only prints dot, as we have said this. And if network is available, it prints Wi-Fi connected and Wi-Fi started. These messages are only for users. And Wi-Fi.localIP function provides local IP. Reset. Copy this IP I printed this message in this client.println function in HTML code that I want to display on the web server Let us test this IP on another computer that is 192.168.2.81. This is how you can display any message on the web server. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe, like, and share it with your friends.